All right, today we're going to be installing some brake disc guards or rotor guards on the front and back of my 2021 KTM 500 EXE. It's a pretty simple project, just a few bolts on each. I've chosen chosen the Enduro Engineering. It's a pretty good product, nice strong uh, billet aluminum. This one's going to go on the front right there. And then for the back, we have the fin guard that's going to go right here. So just a couple bolts, lock tight. For the rear you have to pull the tire out, the wheel out, and dismount the brake caliper. For the front you don't really have to do anything, just two nuts and bolts. So if you find this video helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. And if you uh, are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Cut this out of the package. And you get some nice stickers, instructions. And then the billet aluminum piece. So it's going to go right there. Yep. But on the front, it's going to be a 17 socket. On the axle nut. And then this one's going to be a And then we replace it with this right here, the axle nut. We just put it on finger tight for now. This is medium strength. And for this one, it's going to be an Allen wrench. Looks like it's a 5.5 millimeter. Okay, uh, using Google, we have come up with 33 foot pounds for the 17 millimeter axle bolt and 18 foot pounds for the And there we go. Now you notice the brake guard sits a little bit below the rotor and that protects it from side impacts and front impacts. So that's all, all you need to do and that is done. So pretty straightforward. Let's open up the package and see what we get. stickers and the rotor piece or caliper mounting right there so here's a 27 millimeter I already had this loose so no it's not normally that loose So we can take the brake pads out. This 
one, sorry. Sorry, sorry. There we go. One pad on the outside pin. That. And the inside pad. It's, it's got a slot here that this caliper slides forward and back on. So now we're going to slide it forward and take it off just like that. And then you got to get the dust cover off. Just like that. There we go. Just a matter of sliding off. Now I got to take. So this guide piece has to come off. I had a socket that fit this. But so we put this on tight like that. And now this dust cover goes back on just like that. And then this keeper here. Just kind of squeeze it in, wiggle it a little bit. There you go. I'm going to slide that one. Slide that one. And then we slide the entire assembly back on. There we go. And now for the brake pads. Oh, and this piece here. You gotta kinda pop it back in. Let me slide it up and take a look. Yep, just like that. I'll make sure that little uh, brake pad clip stays where it's supposed to be. It has a tendency to slide out. And then this side first. Yep, just like that. See, it just popped out. You got to put it back in. I'm sure somebody has a trick to that because it always gives me a hard time when I'm doing the brakes. It just pops, pops back out on me. There we go. And now, before I put this in, let me just clean this slide pin a little bit. There we go. And there we go. And now we're going to spread the calipers a little bit just so I can get it back on the, the wheel. And that's it. <sighs> Pull it back. Great.
Don't forget to put your clips back in, which I'm going to do now. Beat the back of the tire a few times. Make sure you have it nice and have the spacers all the way up. And then work your work your brake a few times. Since you push the piston out, you don't want to hop on the bike and have a soft brake the first time you go to brake. So there you go. And that's it. Now you have the rotor cover right there. Side impacts and bottom rock impacts. It'll protect it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps out the next guy. Through that big one?